Hey everybody, Kevin here, Brick Building Biker. Well, today it's a beautiful day. I got the day off, so a little adventure today. I think I'm gonna head down to Calgary. Uh, I'm gonna go to Snap Collectibles. I uh, go see Brandy and drop off Johnny Five. He's gonna spend a, a month there, so I said you guys can display him or whatever, so everybody can see him built. Um, and check him out so he'll be in Airdrie <laughs> he's gonna go for a sleepover for a little bit in Airdrie and then come back home of course because he is a pretty special piece I absolutely love that piece um, but yeah we got a uh, little bit of adventure on the go I'll go I'll go there and I'll probably hit uh, brick bin or whatever and go see Tony and kind of just see what's up and then uh, yeah buzz around Calgary for a little bit and then drive home um, Oh, I gotta show you something else there. They're a pretty big deal. Uh, it's my socks, they're pretty cool. Check this out. Check out these bad boys. They're dill pickles. Who doesn't love a dill pickle? I love a dill pickle. So it's an absolutely beautiful day outside. And uh, yeah, it's a good day for a road trip. I really wanted to take the bike, but um, yeah, Johnny Five had uh, different plans and he's all good to go here. You gotta check this out. He's like all buckled in in the car, ready to go. Jerk face. Johnny, what's happening, buddy? He has to sit sideways or his neck might break. He's got a weak neck. All right, so of course I'm in Calgary, so you know I'm stopping at Boogie's. Check out the note. I get the same burger every time, it's a Jeb burger. There's my hand to the Jeb burger. Look at this beast. There's mushroom on it. This is the Keith's burger. I think Keith might be in the goddamn burger. Goddamn it, Keith. Why'd you have to do this? There's mushrooms on it. Poop. No poop. Delicious. All right, so all done eating. That was delicious. I am full. And uh, yeah, I'm here to uh, check out Tony. I didn't even tell him I was coming. So hopefully he's here. Uh, we'll see what he's got in stock and see if he's got anything good today. And. Maybe something to build for Building with Buds on Saturday night. Tanner's back from his holidays, so I'm excited to see my friend and kind of talk to him and build with him for a little bit. I'll talk to him, but haven't built with him for a little bit. But um, yeah, we'll uh, check it out. I, I did realize that I am driving around um, Calgary with this on the car. Uh, screw you, Calgary. I'm just kidding. No, screw you, Calgary. I don't like the flames, though. Just kidding. Hockey's hockey. Uh, so let's go inside and see what he's got. All right, I'm not going to shoot a huge long video in here because there's a lot of people in the store and whatever, but Tony has his regular stock. There's so much cool stuff to see. Uh, I'll give you a little taste of kind of what's in here, just some older stuff. And this is more for, for Aspen, of course, because uh, it's right up her alley. And uh, yeah, I think, uh, I think she might like checking some of this stuff out. So in the Star Wars line, there's that Resistance Bomber, which is kind of cool. I never end up getting one of those, but pretty cool ship. The Arrowhead, another nice ship. Um, your basic stuff, I passed this on to Grandpa T already. The old uh, Major Ron Ronig or whatever, TIE fighter, he's still looking for one of those. But this is what I want to show you, Aspen. So there's the uh, Hobbit set, 169 for that one. I think this one, as I have, I got this in the bulk lot because I do remember that boat. So that's kind of cool. I'm excited to build that one up out of that set, at that Hobbit set. That's a pretty cool one too. Another great set. I don't think that one was in there. Back that up a little bit so you can see it. There's two of those. Two of those. Nice. And then Lord of the Rings, Battle of Helm's Deep. Now, as we know, Battle of Helm's Deep, that's what uh, my buddy Rob there in... Uh, all age collectibles he built a massive helm's deep i think he still has it i still got to get him to uh build that up and and so he can take a look at it this would be kind of cool to get with the stuff that's coming out of course this stuff's a little bit more pricey than the uh the stuff that's coming out but well not really i guess they're pretty pretty close to the same uh i don't want to go down that wormhole tony always has like a ton of stuff just laying around in boxes check this out oh never seen one of these bad boys before Hey, only three of them. Uh, dimension stuff. There's a whole bunch of different dimension stuff here. It's kind of funny because this stuff was cheap. Like it wasn't wasn't super expensive. Like when it came out, you know, 
9.96. This one's only 20 bucks. That's not bad. Uh, some of them are up to 60 bucks, 70 bucks, sort of thing. And that Mr. T with the van. That van is cool. Oh, maybe I should. I'm gonna buy this. I'm buying this. I need the van. I have a Mr. T. Rick Doctor sent me a Mr. T, but I need the van. Um, and then, yeah, there was one here that I can't remember which one it was. It was like 60 bucks. It might be the Scooby-Doo one or whatever, but pretty cool. Um, and that's just the way Lego is. It goes up in price, right? Um, here's some city stuff. Some bigger stuff up there. Home Alone, Jurassic World, Monkey Kid stuff. Very cool. Very cool. And then, of course, your basic stuff. He has all your other stuff in here. That there's, Oh, there's this one on the floor down here. Check this out. Who knows what that is? I sure do. I should ask him what that's worth. I'm almost scared. <laughs> okay, we'll take a quick look at the other cabinets here. So, I want this thing in the absolute worst way. This is probably my number one set for wanting to get into my possession. Um, so I gotta really try to figure that out. Now this piece is here. Tony was gonna give me a smoking deal on this. I think I almost need to do it, but it's missing a tail section. I just don't know what's involved with that tail section and stuff and a wheel, but it's almost complete. It had the separate rotors on it and all that good jazz. Um, so I don't know, maybe, maybe, maybe. And then in here, your basic stuff. Um, there's the old, there's the old, Lego systems train, that's kind of cool. Thousand bucks for that set. Very cool. I love this guy. Yeah, lots and lots of good sets here. Of course, I have that guy down there. I absolutely love that one. That one's actually a launch tower. Oh, that car hauler is pretty sweet, actually. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, always good stuff. If you see something you like, feel free to give Tony a call and. Uh, and uh, he'll get you some pricing. Yeah, I, I actually really like this set. That thing's unbelievable. Same thing with that one. So, very, very cool. Another home loan set. A couple Guardian ships. There's the goat boat down there. And then he's got a uh, Super Star Destroyer here. Star Destroyer, sorry. And uh, gorgeous. A couple of Millennium Falcons, stuff like that. And then, of course, all the big stuff up back there. Oh, yeah. Very cool. And is it really just you and the other guy? So, made it to Airdrie. Um, Stopped the Tony store. That was a good little stop. Had to chat with Tony. That was all right. So we're at Snap Collectibles here and we're going to go in and check it out. I left Johnny Five in the car for now just to make sure the owner's in here. I didn't want to take it in if someone's out here and then just leave him. But uh, I got to show you something. Something I found again. Yeah, that's right. Gary the Goose. Chilling out. Doing his thing. Making sure everybody's not lighting fires in the streets of Airdrie. Good job, Gary. And now into Snap Collectibles. <laughs> Collectibles. All right, so this next stop, we're in, uh, you can see up there, it says Crossfield. Uh, now, the significance of this is actually pretty cool. I'm going to kind of come out here a little ways where I can't, uh, where, I can, <laughs> where I can show you the street. Now, this old street is uh, pretty wild. Um, now, some of these buildings are pretty old and stuff in Crossfield. Now the significance of this is actually the Donut Man. The Donut Man, this street is where they filmed the street scene in Ghostbusters. Yeah, like the new one. So we're gonna head into to Donut Man. Arrived. There's a sign here somewhere that says something about uh, being at the Donut. Well, apparently I've arrived at the Donut Man. My GPS just told me that. So we're gonna walk around and check out this sleepy little town. It's kind of wicked. <laughs> So check this out. This is a film set, not a functioning business. This is the old buildings in town here. All right, so this is the Chinese food restaurant that was used in the movie Ghostbusters Afterlife, where they. She went on her date with the uh, the teacher, the school teacher or whatever, so pretty cool. Surprised they don't have something on the window saying that they was filmed here or whatever, but pretty neat. All right, guys, well, I'm back from uh, Calgary there and just uh, visiting Tony quickly and uh, a couple little stops here and there. I didn't do too much video editing or shooting or what have you, but uh, I got a little bit of stuff. Um, I didn't pick up a heck of a lot. Oh, I left the one thing upstairs. 
So I did pick up um, uh, Dimensions in box still, the BA Baraka set, which uh, Brick Doctor had sent me a BA Baraka there, but this was kind of cool to have the van. So I, I, and it was in the box. So Tony gave me a really good deal on that. And then I also picked up a helicopter, which I'll show you there, the, the Technic helicopter. Um, now it needs some parts and pieces, which shouldn't be an issue because of Johnny Five. There's a whole bunch of uh, leftover white pieces and what have you in the uh um from that set so i think i should have enough i have to do the tail section so i don't know i should be pretty close to be able to finish that off but i'll flip that around and then tony uh, threw me one of the dragsters he had a, a spare dodge dragster sitting there and because i want to do a, like a drag light scene and um but this one's missing a couple parts too it's missing the back wing and stuff like that and i'll have to change the tires on it to make it look like the one that I have already kind of updated or what have you. But, and then of course I, I built my very close, but not a hundred percent accurate, uh, Aspen sig fig because, uh, I, I got to get all those collected up there of all my close friends and stuff like that. So I got pretty close. Um, I think I got right. Most of the right parts. I just need the proper torso, but this, this torso is pretty good. This shirt just has a little decoration on it, but yeah, I'll flip the camera around here and we'll just kind of take a look at what I got. All right. Here's the stuff I picked up. Um, today from tony there though so there's a piece together a little bit of an aspen sig fig there the shirt's not 100 percent correct but it's the only one i could find that was close so that's the one i went with for now i will get the right one there's the the thing i'm, I'm working on i got a whole bunch of projects on the go as you can see i've got all this stuff um that i'm working on over here i'm trying to get through i've started kind of half-ass sorting the stuff in the bulk and then yeah i've got all these bins and boxes to get through here so um, of bulk stuff so I've been working on that but here we go with there's the uh, Aspen Sig Fig I picked up uh, parts and piece together there and so like I said her shirt's close but not 100% this uh, Dodge Dragster um, so I wanted to build a drag scene so I got this parts and pieces for this guy uh, Tony uh, gave me a really good deal on it so I'm thankful for that and then the heavy lift service helicopter here, which needs some parts. You can see it's missing the nose wheel and stuff like that. So once I get the nose wheel on there, it's good. And then it needs its rear tail section. Now, the nice thing is with building the um, uh, Johnny 5 at a Libra, I got a ton of leftover um, this, like the bigger plate stuff to do with the, uh, um, to build the deal tail section. So I'll try to get that together. And then I got to look through to figure out how the dual props worked and stuff. Cause I'm pretty sure these guys will turn. I just got to figure out what's going on with that. There is a motor and stuff in it, which I think has that works off this switch and it works the, uh, the winch on the bottom and stuff or the rotors. I'm not sure. I'll figure all that out and see what, see what's missing for connection. But, um, yeah, I got a really, really good deal on that. I think I paid 50 bucks for this whole thing. So um yeah kind of interested to put together it's cool it's a helicopter so interested so yeah that was kind of everything from pickup today um i grabbed a couple black series figures i guess i should show you those too but um just a 501 trooper and i think a commander cody i picked up um at snap and again i didn't do too many videos in there they're renovating in there and stuff like that and and um it's kind of it's just a little bit uh in disarray right now so i'm going to let them get their shop all done up and then i'll go down and do a uh, a video you can see johnny five is back there on the shelf um they didn't want to take him right now they were going to just put him on display they didn't want to take him right now because just in case something gets bumped or knocked off and he'd be moving about 50 times while they're doing the renovations which i can respect that so once they are all set up and good to go he will go down there and he'll uh, live on their shelf for a little bit and then Tony wants them for a little bit after that for a display piece. So absolutely, I'll oblige Tony because Tony's been nothing but good to me. So if you saw anything you liked in the videos from either of those, well, you didn't see anything at Snap, but if you see anything in Tony's store, I didn't really get to do a great tour in there because of how many people were in there. Um, feel free to give him a call and, and ask him. He's a great guy. He'll help you out. So uh, thanks for watching the video, everybody. Um, as always, stay safe and we'll see you soon. Thank you.